Hi everyone, welcome to the Chasing Innovation M2 Submersible ROV. The M2 is a highly featured and agile submersible that is well suited to both recreational underwater videography as well as industrial inspection applications. The M2 builds upon earlier ROV designs from Chasing, such as the Gladius and Gladius Mini. The M2 is designed around the concept of vectored thrust propulsion. In this design, eight thrusters are used, with each one mounted on a corner of the ROV and set at a compound angle. This configuration gives the M2 an ability to move and turn in all axes, as well as supporting direct sideways movement. The M2 features a 4K camera and lighting on board. The operator has full control over lighting and camera settings from the remote control and the accompanying dive app. For more demanding applications, an accessory external dive light is also available. Demonstrating the intent towards more professional use cases with this design, the M2's battery is replaceable allowing dive operations to continue without needing to stop and recharge the unit. Accessory mounting rails are located on the top and bottom sides of the ROV and a GoPro adapter is included in the basic package. A great feature of the M2 is the waterproof SD card port. This gives the operator an option of directly accessing files after a dive without needing to download them via a smart device first. Next to the SD card port is the tether cable connector. The cable and plug are similar to those used on the Gladius Mini and on the M2, good provision has been made for strain relief of the tether cable. The lower side of the M2 has the serial number label and connections for the accessory claw. The M2's controller design has incorporated the Wi-Fi beacon and controls into a single unit, greatly simplifying setup and operation. The tether cable connects to the RC and a HDMI port is available to display the feed on an external device. As with the Gladius Mini, control and image capture is managed using your smart device and the Chasing Go One app. Diving with the M2 is quite easy and enjoyable. Anyone familiar with operating a quadrotor drone will have no problems with the M2, and novice pilots will pick up the basics after just a few minutes. The real-time video feed on the app is solid and I didn't experience any lag or connection issues. As with every submersible ROV however, tether cable management is extremely important, so care must be taken to avoid being snagged or getting knotted up around obstacles. The ability to move sideways makes navigation much easier and allows the pilot to approach an object or location and observe it laterally or even circle it while keeping it in frame. In this example, we are easily able to circle the chase submersible with the M2. While this ability certainly has narrative uses, it makes the M2 extremely useful for industrial inspection applications. The basic M2 configuration comes in a single cardboard box with minimal packaging, which is great to see. A basic foam carry case is provided with the unit, which houses the ROV, the tether cable, the remote controller and the charger. This is a reasonably sturdy case for light duty use, however you might wish to explore options for hard cases, 
especially if you're traveling or working in industrial environments. A number of accessories are available for the M2, which I haven't covered in this video. These include additional dive lighting, a claw, and a tether reel system that would be well worth checking out. I'll leave a link in the description. So that is the M2 from Chasing Innovation. It's definitely an agile and easy to use ROV that is worth checking out. Thanks for watching.